Welcome to Programming with a FinchBot in Scratch. In this video, we'll show you how to work with different Finch blocks or outputs in Scratch. The Finch blocks have been placed in the More Blocks category located here. All of your Finch blocks for Scratch can be found here. For now, we'll just go over Motion, Looks, and Sound. We'll start with the Finch Motion block. The Move Finch left and right block controls the power of the left and right wheels of the bot. The range on both wheels goes from negative 100 to 100. For example, if you put 100 as the value in both the right and left, that will result in the bot moving forward at full speed. Try clicking on this block. And if you put negative 100 as the value, the bot will move backwards at full speed. You can also test any block before placing it into a program to see what it will do. Try this. Set the move finch left side at 50 and the right side at negative 50. Now click the block and your finch bot should start turning. To stop the bot, click the stop sign here. Or you can click a move finch block with the value set to zero on both wheels. Next, let's set the finch's LED. This will adjust the color of the finch bot's beak. The R, G, and B options control the intensity of the red, green, and blue elements in the beak. The colors range from 0 to 100 and can be mixed to create other colors. Now let's make the finch beep. Here we have the finch buzzer. The standard finch buzzer block plays the buzzer with the sound of the frequency specified for the time specified. The frequency can range from 20 to 20,000. Also in the sound category, we have the speak block. When anything is typed into your text box, the program will speak through your computer speakers. Hello. Now that we know some basics, Let's put together a simple dance with the finch blocks we've covered so far. For this, we are also going to include some of the basic event and control blocks. Let's start off by pulling in an event block that starts the program by pressing a certain key. In this case, we'll keep it on the spacebar. Next, let's move the bot forward at a speed of 50 and turn the beak a sort of bluish green. Now I'll head to the controls and bring in a wait block. This will pause the program in between functions for however many seconds you type in. I'll keep it set to pause for one second. After the wait block, let's move the bot backwards at a speed of negative 15 and turn the beak red. All right, now let's add some sound. I'll go with the standard buzzer block with its default settings. Head back to controls and add an additional wait block. And finally, I'll add a stop all block to the end of the program. Now when I press the spacebar, my new program will run. And now you know how to work with the Finch Block outputs in Scratch programming. For more info, check out our other tutorials on YouTube.